Good morning, good afternoon, good night. I am Ryan Cook. Whatever time you're watching this video, thanks for watching Common Sense Fishing. I'm still out there. Oh my God. Perfect, I like that. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, get the net, get the net. It's a DD, get the net, bro, please get the net. Oh my God, this is a DD. Hey, what's up guys? Nick the Informative Fisherman here and you're watching Common Sense Fishing. Check it out. Bam. morning good afternoon good night whatever time you're watching this as always thanks for watching common sense fishing so today we're out at lovely lake new maloney's gonna hopefully get on those bass get on some main lake points probably fish deep um, if the lake's anything like pedro and mcclure they're gonna be right on the bottom deep as heck and the bite will probably be slow but as always i'll find them and get on them so we'll take you around my favorite spots around this lake and we'll go find some new ones because i've only been here maybe 10 15 times so get out there and we'll see you guys on the first fish all right folks this is my first time out at this lake in quite a few months um haven't been here in a long time so and when i was here last didn't do very good so we're gonna go hunt down a couple of spots see if we can catch some fish so basically what I'm gonna do right now, if I'm headed to any new lake, right? So I'm trying to help you guys break down new lakes or any of the lakes you're having trouble with this winter. Okay, so when you get to a new lake and it's winter time, fall to winter transition or winter, I want you guys to do two main things. You're gonna check two spots. I want you to go look in, in the backs of creeks. So yeah, maybe go ahead and head up river, you know, um hit the main lake and check any cuts and coves where the bass can pin those bait fish and also get on the main lake points then what you want to do is you want to use your graph so if you're seeing any fish you know and they're suspended use your lvs use your spoons use your drop shots drop down on those fish and get them if you're not seeing any fish that's a usual sign that the fish are on the bottom. So in the winter time, a lot of the times, the fish will just hug right down to the bottom, especially when a massive cold front comes in or whenever there's a system coming in. So I hope these tips and tricks help out. I'm gonna go hit a couple of main lakes points up. So for example, my first stop, honestly, I'm gonna go right across there to those rocky, long tapering point. I'm gonna come out I'm gonna start graphing it in 10, 15 feet, go all the way out to 70 or 80. Even this point right here, I'd check that one out. Then I'm gonna swing around here. I might go check out the dam. Sorry, the dam's that way. I might go check out the dam, see if we can find anything on that main point of the dam and uh, bounce around. Then there's some islands back towards Angels Creek where I wanna go ahead and uh, check back there. So we'll see you guys on the first fish. Thanks for watching. All right, first fish of the day so far. Way offshore. Probably out in about 50 feet of water. Well, I don't think anybody would think to fish out here. I lost this fish. He bit and was hooked came off then it came back from my lure and hit viciously and now it's on it looks like it's about a two and a half three pound spot nice nice spot nice spot all right see and this is how you come out to a lake that you haven't been out to in a long time head out especially in the winter head out to main lake points Fish deep, fish slow, take your time. I don't see any fish on my fish finder. I just went out to this main lake point, tossed around a little bit, realized I think I was too shallow. So I cast it back out, came off perfectly. So I cast it back out into the deeper water. 
nice spotted bass here so thanks for watching common sense fishing hope these tips and tricks help out we'll see you guys on the next one all right ladies and oh, oh look at that another one next cast i just turned you guys on to try to give you some tips and tricks on drop shotting so one of the tips and tricks i was just going to talk about is making sure that your bait is always on the bottom when you're drop shotting be careful to check your slack and make sure that you're letting your weight hit the bottom and that you're giving it time to sit down there for a second okay secondly in the winter time less hopping motions and more of a dragging side to side motion okay more of a of a cast out and there we go just pull the lure left or right you know like a sweeping motion you don't need to uh hop it and i'll demonstrate what that looks like so so far this is two fish two casts i just turned you guys off so i'm gonna leave you on we're gonna keep our five best fish we're gonna box them today see what we get so we'll see you in a second so we're gonna keep you guys running give you guys some tips and tricks for one again in the winter time when you're not seeing a ton of them on your graph or if you're seeing them and they're down there on the bottom short drop shot leader number two always double check and make sure your line your leader line your tag line to your weight isn't wrapped around the hook because if you get a fish hooked and this weight or line interferes it can pop the hook out so you want to make sure it's always through after a couple of fish or every fish, just double check, make sure you're good to go. And here we're gonna get back out there. So let's toss out there, see if we can get some more fish. We may have drifted off a little bit. I'm sitting currently in 50 feet of water, casting in is probably 60 or 70. We're gonna back off, head towards about 40 feet of water where I was at earlier, and then drag this lure in. But before I do that, I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. We're going to give you guys a demonstration on basically how I'm sticking these fish at Pedro, McClure, and now New Maloney's. Principle's the same. You got to make sure. Are the fish on the bottom or are they suspended? If they're suspended, you want to be using those spoons, LV 500s. Don't be afraid to get up there even shallow. Throw that jerk bait in the wintertime, all right? But when they're not like that and the bite's tough, don't fight it head out to the deeper water fish slow you will find them now here's what i mean so i've made sure and ensured that my bait has hit the bottom and when i'm going to work it in i'm going to reel real slowly until i feel the tension because it could be a fish right and i'm going to pull very slowly like this that's all i'm going to do and then whenever i feel like i'm hitting into a rock wood a grass a fish anything i'm going to stop and then if it feels soft i'm going to start reeling immediately that's almost always a fish in the winter time it will just feel like a spongy weight on the tip of your rod so and i'm going very slow i'm not i notice i'm not doing this i'm not jigging and moving my drop shot a lot okay i'm going to let it stay still so i'm making sure it's hitting the bottom Looks like, is it? Yeah, it's on the bottom. Well, let's open that bell and make sure. Yeah, we're on the bottom. Boat's drifting a little. Then again, I'm going to do a sweeping motion like this. See? And I'm going to pull it in towards me. I may have drifted in a little bit off of where the fish are at. We're going to reposition, try to get on some more. But I hope today's tips and tricks help because they can be in 70, 80, 90 feet deep as well. Right now, I'm in 59, and I'm probably casted in about 65 right now, 70, bringing it up into me. Hey guys and gals, if you're out here at New Maloney's, the bass I caught, I just stepped on this, didn't realize this, see his pregnant had a bunch of eggs, you, do you know what this is? Do you guys know what fish this is? Leave a comment below if you do. Well, I know what fish it is. This 
is what the bass are eating right now. And this is a sculpin, also known as a mud sucker. They're basically little tiny placostomuses, like the little fish that you have in your fish tank to keep it clean. The Ned rig is actually what those, what imitates those the best. So I might throw the Ned rig on for a while to see if we have any luck with that. out here in the deep, probably about 50 plus. Littler guy. Biting like a littler guy. See? Oh, not so bad. Yeah, she's decent. Another two plus pound spotted bass. Yeah, okay. So look at the bellies on these new Maloney's bass. They are eating. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Common sense fishing. We're getting on them. So again, main lake points deep. Take your time. Just drag it left to right. Don't do a lot of hopping. The bite will feel just like a weight at first. And don't set the hook if you're using the drop shot. Slowly lift into them and just start reeling and make sure your drag's set. Another last tip I'd say is for many years, I've been a believer that line size wasn't much of a factor. Well, I've gone to eight pound test and I've been doing really good. So you guys might want to look into hitting up the lakes with six or eight pound test if you're struggling at Pedro, McClure, or New Maloney's, or Berryessa or any of the lakes that fish similar. So, see you guys on the next one. Man, I had just turned you guys off. This one feels like it might be a better one. It hit me pretty good. And uh, it's coming up from deep, and it's been fighting pretty good so far, but nothing crazy. But like it's probably better than any of the fish I've got so far. Same principle, fishing super deep, casting out into the 60 or 70 range, and then bringing it up into the 40 or so. This guy does not want to come up. I am also using eight pound test. Oh no, he just popped off. Dang it! Well, look what we got here. Not what we were after today. <laughs> but I'm sure there's some big bass out there going to be eating these guys. Let's get them off. He hit this running. Nice, beautiful little rainbow trout. Out here, new Maloney's. That's a little guy. Where's the big bass that eats that one, right? <laughs> See you guys out on the next one. We're at one of my second favorite little spots over here, the dam. Nice spotted bass right here. Dropped right down on her. Bam. Look at that. <clears throat> so we're getting them out here at Lake New Maloney's first time in multiple months. I'm talking four or five months probably. And the last time I was here didn't do very good. And it's been years since I've been here. Probably about, I don't know, five years, four years, something like that. So we're getting them. Hit those main lake points. Fish slow. Take your time. Just like Pedro McClure, guys. Same principle. See you guys on the next one. Got another one out here. 
We're just whacking them. Same principle, slow drag. Smallest one of the day right here, little guy. So, thanks for watching. Again, try to remember when it's the winter time, those fish aren't always deep. They can be up shallow. Don't forget to throw those jerk baits and those rattle traps in the winter and the jig, all right? But when the bite seems real slow and you're tossing up there and you're not getting a solid thumb, they're short striking. I like to use open hook lures in the winter time. Drop shots, ball head jig, nothing that's gonna require a major hook set so that I can just immediately start reeling and there's little um, need to set the hook because sometimes they're barely gonna bite. So I hope these tips and tricks are paying off and helping out out the mother load lakes. As always, we'll see you guys on the next one. As soon as I turned you guys, Look at that, next cast. Right away, got another one. This wintertime bite can be a ton of fun, guys. I know a lot of you guys don't like to fish slow, don't want to fish slow, don't like to drop shot. It's not a ton of fun. But I'll tell you what is a ton of fun. It's catching fish after fish after fish and in the winter time sometimes the drop shots what you got to throw <clears throat> get out on those main lake points fish deep these guys are only coming out of about 35 see you guys on the next one One other tip for you guys, a lot of people use a drop shot. What they do is they get on their fish finder, they see fish, they see a school, they drop down and they barely move it or they wiggle it and jiggle it. Some guys toss it up ashore and work it down. What I like to do with a drop shot, I like to bomb it as far as I can. And then even if the bite's active and they'll hit it when it's hopping, then that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bomb it as far as I can. I'm gonna hop it in. In the winter time, I'm gonna bomb it out there as far, as deep as I can, and I'm gonna drag it in. I'm gonna do the same thing, but instead of hopping it, I'm gonna drag it. But the principle is, I will actually use a drop shot like a search bait. So I'll cast it out really far, and then I'll just crawl it back in towards the bait. So I'm actually covering big areas and once I know the fish are say in 30, 40, whatever, I'll pull myself up and then cast parallel with the shoreline so that my lure stays in 30, 40, 50, 60, whatever it is that those fish are in. Now, so far today, I found them all in 65, all the way so far up to about 25, 30. I'm sure there's fish shallower than that. There are always fish shallow as well as there's usually always fish deep. So get out there, hit those main lake points, hit the cuts, see what you can find. So hope you guys are enjoying today's show. I'm having a blast out here at Maloney's. I haven't been here in a while, so in a minute. It's like riding a bike though, just because you're on a different street same principles apply. Try to remember that. Different lakes do fish differently depending on what bait fish is in there and whether they're highland reservoirs, or whether they're lowland, shallow, deep, all that good stuff. Ooh, look at that. Set the hook like an idiot. They're supposed to just reel and just lift into them and reel. But, uh, been a good day so far. Let's hope it keeps up, huh? As soon as I stop you guys, I always get a fish, so 
We'll see if we'll, we'll leave you on for a few minutes, huh? There goes one right there. Yeah. See how I did that? Just kind of start reeling and pull into them. Oh, yeah. This one's a good one, too. Or it's a decent one. Oh, no, you don't. Don't come off. Oh, he's coming to jump. This one's a better fish. Not like the one I dumped over there, though. There goes the jump. I thought it was going to jump eventually, right? Nice. This one, large milk? Yep. Bam! Look at that. Out here at New Maloney's just smacking them. Yeah, baby. Get out here and come fishing. That common sense toy drive going to be over in two weeks. Merry Christmas to everybody. For those of you who may be watching for the first time or who don't know, I'm doing a toy drive. We're taking people out on fishing trips. They're donating cash or toys. And I'm going to be taking care of Christmas for as many families as possible. So far, it looks like we're going to take care of over 30 families and over 60 kids. That's all thanks to you guys. Thank you very much. Another one out here by the dam. I love this spot out here at New Maloney's, I'll tell you what, out by the dam is a great spot for some good fish. This one's a nice spot. Ooh, bad spot is bass right here. Come on, bunch, get out of there. Damn it, I'm going to lose this fish if I don't watch it. Nice spotted bass. Look at that. Wow. We are officially putting the hammer down on them today. Thanks for watching Common Sense Fishing. Look at, barely hooked. Came right out. Gotta keep pressure. I'm lucky I caught this one trying to get that stupid net. Look at the fins, how red they are. See, look at this. They're sitting right on the bottom. Look at that. See those fins, how red they are? They're sitting right in them rocks. So, come out and get you some fish. Let's see how much this one weighs, huh? Just for giggles. Nice spotted bass right here. Where's she at? Two and a half almost, a little over two and a quarter. Not bad. Out here getting them. See you guys on the next one. All right guys and gals, so we're working on limit number two. We're gonna go ahead and take some photos, show you guys some pictures, video, and then dump them in and go get some more. It's not even 10 o'clock in the morning. And we're just smashing them. So give me a moment. Thanks for watching Common Sense Fishing. We're out here at New Maloney's having a blast. We'll see you guys on the next group of fish. Hey guys. Heck yeah. Bam! Oh, that was a good one. Damn, that felt like it snapped me off. Did he? Yeah, that one snapped me off. Go 
still getting them over here. This guy came off of a steep wall where it goes from shallow to 80 within like 20 feet. So that guy is not the right kind of fish we've been wanting, huh? Seems like most of the best fish have came off of a long tapering point or either big rock out in 35 to 55, 60 feet of water. So, hope you guys get out here and have some fun at New Maloney's. The lake is on fire and doing good right now. The bite's slow. So it's not like you're just casting and catching, casting and catching, but in a sense you are if you're fishing the right depth and the right speed. So hope this helps for you guys. I've been having a lot of guys ask me about new Maloney, so here we are. Well, there was another one. Another fish off the point here. Another good one. Yeah, hey, uh, another decent spot. Woo! We're just whacking them today. Thanks for watching Common Sense Fishing. Again, short leaders, drag it, don't hop it. Main lake points with rock, deep or tapering. I prefer tapering, but right now I'm on a deep one and I'm smacking them, so hey. Getting out there, getting them. <clears throat> One of the golden rules of fishing, ladies and gentlemen, don't leave fish to find fish. So if you're having a hard time and you're catching fish, don't take off if you're catching fish to go try to find other fish. Um, unless you're on the wrong caliber of fish, that is. you know, Unless you're just catching a bunch of dinks and you need to upgrade. In that case, you might want to check some different water. But I've plugged a ton of fish out of this little area, and I've lost while you guys were off. I've lost, I've already lost seven or eight fish today. You know, I need to get over there and go out.